the day, Saturday afternoon, brunch club. This is Justina, your tutor. I will be reading to you Hamster Learns to Help by Rosie Greening, John Matchell, Make Believe Ideas. One day the animals were cleaning up after playing. There was a lot to do, but Hamster wasn't helping. Poppy was carrying a big pile of plastic bricks to the toy box. Hamster, can you please help me? asked Puppy. No, I want to do a jigsaw puzzle, said Hamster. Squirrel was putting clothes back in the dress up box. Hamster, can you please help me? asked Squirrel. No, I'm doing my jigsaw puzzle, said Hamster. Bookshelf. Hamster, can you please help me? asked Bear. No, I'm still doing my jigsaw puzzle, said Hamster. Soon there was just one piece missing from the puzzle. Hamster looked in the box, but there was nothing there. She asked her friends if they could help her look. We're too busy, they said, and they continued to put away the toys. So Hamster tried to find the puzzle piece on her own. She looked around, but she couldn't see the piece anywhere. Bear told Hamster, if you help us, the jobs will be finished quickly. Then we can all look for the missing piece together. So Hamster started to help. Hamster worked very hard. She picked up plastic bricks, and put away dress-up clothes and cleaned up the toys. Well done, Hamster, said Squirrel. Hamster smiled. She felt good for helping out. With Hamster's help, the jobs were soon finished, so the friend searched for the missing piece together. Squirrel lifted up the rug and saw the missing piece underneath. <gasps> Thank you, Squirrel, said Hamster, and as she rushed to complete her puzzle. Hamster was glad that she had such helpful friends. Let's do the next puzzle together, suggested Hamster. It was the perfect reward for their hard work. Reading together. Playdate pals have been written for parents, caregivers, and teachers to share with young children who are beginning to explore the feelings they have about themselves and the world around them. Each story is intended as a springboard to emotional discovery and can be used to gently promote further discussion about the feeling or behavioral topic featured in the book. Hamster Learns to Help is designed to teach children that a willingness to help is an important part of developing social relationships. Once you have read the story together, go back and talk about any experiences the children might share with Hamster. Talk to children about helping and then encourage them to do so in other trusted relationships. Look at the pictures. Talk about the characters. Do they look happy when Hamster doesn't help? What about when she does help? Help children think about helping affect others. Words in bold. Throughout each story, there are words highlighted in bold type. These words specify either the character's name or useful words and phrases related to helping. You may wish to put emphasis on these words or use them as reminders for parts of the story you can return to and discuss. Questions you can ask. To prompt further exploration of this behavioral topic, you could try asking children some of the following questions. How do you feel when people help you? What should you 